as we are underway in an eerily empty Dean Dome. Have to slow it down, limit the possessions, and then he said, look, we must limit the paint touches. Right here is where he was concerned. Both of these teams really out of rhythm offensively to start this season. Five on the timer. Jasper fading away, blocked by Baycock. This right here, a lot of bigs have trouble sliding out on the perimeter. That's his great perimeter D. Love in transition, goes coast to coast, rims out, but there in perfect position to finish, Armando Baycock. He just goes and attacks that ball. And that's the word Roy Williams used when he was discussing the freshman big as we see a beautiful floater. Tucker on the drive, shot with the rejection. Run out. Play tech. Can't get the finish. Proud he was of Garrison Brooks uh, taking on that leadership role uh, and using his voice and platform uh, to exact some change. And when you talk to not just Roy Williams, but college coaches across the country, they want to develop these guys into good citizens, good human beings, not just good basketball players. Here's yeah, Roy that's what they've been doing. Inside, Baycott slams it down. Armando Baycott. Playtech. Look at the cash in after the College of Charleston turnover. Baycott again. He is feasting underneath. It's a 14-0 Tar Heel run. Jasper looking to end that, and that is the first make of the game, and it comes at the 11-20 mark. Obviously, on the other side, you have to credit North Carolina. They've been contesting all of their three-point attempts. After an 0-for-11 start, back-to-back -back baskets for the Cougars. Coach Grant talked to his team about not settling for contested threes all the time. R.J. Davis, what a smooth stroke from the freshman. Peyton Willis got the answer. Carolina is a team that's very aggressive in the passing lanes, so you have to move the ball and then try to draw the defense so you can get those wide open looks off the kicks. Not only is he winning the league, but like you said, putting some guys at the next level as we take a look at another three. R.J. Davis like a quarterback in football, reading the eyes, getting the ball. In particular, Brooks, oh, to get a heavy dose of post-entry passes. Brooks on the defensive end, swatting that one away. Dayron Sharp backing his man down, down, muscling it up and in. That one rolls in for College of Charleston. Brendan Tucker on the drive, kicks it out, extra pass leads to a wide open three, and it's good. College of Charleston cuts the North Carolina in half. Earl Grant, ball went left to right, dribble drive, get the defense moving, and the end result, a wide open three. Really going to be valuable to this young backcourt. Dayron Sharp takes it right into the lane, puts it up and in. Johnson, his first shot in a North Carolina uniform, and it's good from three. Hard to the hole. That's a great take for D'Angelo X. Better each year. Ty Lawson, Kendall Marshall, Marcus Page, all guys that started their freshman year. There's two freshmen linking up. Kerwin Walton finds a wide open R.J. Davis who lays it in. Plus the foul. Jasper, great take, and it bounces in. 
That's a good offensive possession. He just needs to finish that right at the rim. Zach Jasper hanging in the air and catches it. Jasper. In a double team, doesn't matter. The floater falls back to back buckets for the junior Zepp Jasper. Take, but it doesn't fall. Nothing going down for the Tar Heels to start this second half. Try to slow the pace down. And that time, though, North Carolina, excellent transition deep, but then poor out of bounds underneath defense. Garrison Brooks, a clinic in the post with a great move. Lou Galloway's redshirt year has won 90 games in the last four years under Earl Grant, and they are hanging tough in Chapel Hill. And now they've got the lead. A big time triple from the corner. Carolina, uh, they're getting excellent dribble drives, and then they're forcing the bigs to come out on the perimeter. Great take from the freshman, R.J. Davis. Up to R.J. Davis, attacking the rack again, up, doesn't fall sharp, in perfect position for the finish. Passing out, Playtech at three, no good. Another offensive rebound, leads to a wide open triple, and that one is good. Checked into the game, so now all six freshmen in that talented class have seen some court time. going to work. Armando Baycott making it look easy in the post. I think it was under rank. So we could see higher than their preseason position. I would have to say Georgia Tech and Clemson are two teams that are intriguing. Certainly Clemson with Amir Sims and then the backcourt of Georgia Tech with that experience coming back. I think their team that in the front court for Roy Williams in North Carolina now. He got Baycott, Kessler, Sharp, Brooks. On the post. Yeah, certainly they're all talented to do things. Well, really, everybody brings something a little different to the table as we take a look at Baycott with the block. Brooks checks back into the game. He has not scored since the 749 mark in the first half. And what's scary about that is North Carolina. Never, never really missed a beat without him. It's like a 2-3 matchup zone. and Try to slow this pace down a little bit and get some help for the bigs, but it seems like North Carolina has had an answer every time. Give and go. Wide open. Back door wide open. Great take. Hard for the ball. Love making it look easy. That's secondary. The first thing now, obviously, is uh, making sure guys are following all the protocols and that they're healthy enough and obviously uh, don't want to have any stoppages because of, of this COVID situation. Challenge to Charles did not go away. Fans of North Carolina had to wait 258 days between the end of last yeah, season yeah. and the beginning of this one. Left a bad taste in our mouth, and now that taste can be spit out, and we got a new season, 0-0, zero and, zero, and this has certainly been a really bright start. Too much of Kessler, but he's one of these four McDonald's All-Americans in the recruiting class. I give it to him on the post. And Walker oh, Kessler. particularly shoot the ball well uh, from the three-point line. Only four of 17 for three, but it doesn't matter for Roy Williams. A 19-point victory.